Hi, welcome to tonight's show. It's been a while since I've done one. I did get the house, which means I've been working a lot on getting it all ready and everything. I obviously haven't moved in yet. I'm in my uh, usual setting, but hopefully before too much longer, just getting some work done, like some floors put down and everything. Um, I'm probably going to eventually do a before and after episode, but that's not at this point what I'm going to be talking about. I'm actually going to be talking to you about an HIV vaccine. It's something that they have been working on for years now, and it is something that I'm actually a part in. It's a preventative vaccine to, um, it basically like any other vaccine, um, is attempted to try to prevent the person to um, contract whatever it's trying to prevent the person from getting. Um, there are many studies going on. Um, the one I'm actually in is called the HVTN505 study. And uh, you can look it up online. And if you want to participate, it's in um, their testing C is basically its effectiveness. And um, it's something really great uh, if you want to take part in. They will pay you, but it's more than about money. It's really trying to help uh, find a way to stop spreading this and really make a difference in the world. Um, the cities that they are doing it, I'm going to be reading. Um, the cities that are doing this is Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama, um, two institutes in Boston, Massachusetts, Buffalo, New York, Chicago, Illinois, Cleveland, Ohio, Dallas, Texas, Denver, Colorado, Houston, Texas, Los Angeles, California, Nashville, Tennessee, New York, New York at Columbia University, New York, New York at NYU, uh, New York, New York, Union Square, Orlando, Florida, um, Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Rochester, New York, San Francisco, California, Seattle, Washington, uh, Washington, D.C., and Annandale, Washington, D.C., Bethesda. So those are the main cities in the U.S. that they're doing it. Um, they have been testing a very similar vaccine in Thailand, which is showing very promising results. So this is things that they are making great strides for. This is something that um, it's in, I believe, third phase, if I'm not mistaken, uh, testing. So they know it's safe. They know it's not going to hurt you. Um, at this point, they're just seeing how effective it is at actually preventing it. And no, they're not going to be sticking you with anything that um, could potentially give it to you. In fact, what it is, is um, they... Um, synthetically make proteins that are on similar to what's on the actual virus's shell and um, they inject you with that to train your body how to detect the shell so it can immediately get rid of it um, and produce antibodies so if you're exposed to it it will make it actually just kick it out of your system. That's at least the idea behind it. Um, but they're testing to see how effective they are. But if you want any more uh, information on it, you can actually go to um, what is it? hopetakesaction.org and they um, can give you lots of information if you want to participate in the study or just get more information about it. It's something that I think everyone should at least look into and see if there's something that you can do to help. Well, from Augusta, Georgia, this is Daily Dade saying have a great night.